What's up guys? Welcome to Circles Practice Problems Level Hard. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we have this circle here and a rectangle within here. So it says in the figure above, a five inch by 12 inch rectangle whoops, is inscribed in a circle. So that means each of these corner points just touch the circle at one point. What is the area of the circle in square inches? All right, if we wanna calculate the area of a circle, we must know the radius because area is pi r squared. We don't have a radius value. We have this value, which kind of looks like the diameter, but it's not because it doesn't go through the center of the circle. So what we need is we need to somehow get a value, a line that goes through the center so we can get the diameter. But the only values we have are related to this rectangle. So hopefully you can see that while this line segment here doesn't do the job, if we drew a diagonal through this rectangle, guess what? We've got a perfect diameter from which we can get a radius. But what is the value of this diameter? Well, notice when I drew this line here, we've created a right triangle. So we can calculate this value using Pythagorean's theorem, right? So we've got a squared plus b squared oops, equals c squared. And our c value is that hypotenuse, which is that diameter. So a squared would be, we can say five, that's one of the legs here, plus b squared, which is 12 squared, equals c squared, right? 12 right there. So this becomes 25 plus 144 equals c squared. Very nice. What is 25 plus 144? That is 169. And this equals c squared. So to get c, we just take the square root of 169 and c equals 13. Okay. So that means this value here is 13, but that is the diameter. So what is the radius? Well, we have to take half of this, right? Half of this would be the radius. So half of 13 is 6.5. So now let's go back. And remember, we want the area. Notice all the answer choices have pi in them, so we don't have to approximate for pi, which is really nice. So it's 6.5 squared, right? Pi r squared. And that is our area. So now we just got to figure out what is 6.5 squared, right? You can do this on your calculator. But 6.5 squared, I will go ahead and tell you, we don't spend the time doing it, is 42.25. So that right there, 42.25 pi, is going to be the area of this circle. So our answer is B and done. 